Okay. We can conduct our tests and see if this is working. That's such a bullshit line. Uh. Hmm, I might actually keep that. I don't like that. All right, hi Mango, since I know you're now watching. Uh, oh yeah, there you are, you're in chat. Hi Mangotron. Okay, I guess I should boot up the game. That's gonna be the real test. We might just have to play around for a little bit, uh, be patient, but how are we looking so far? We okay? I'm gonna have to get a new ring light. Uh, mine has started flickering like terribly. I don't think you can notice it on, let me know if you notice it on stream. I don't think you can, but it's like, it's like flickering right in my, it's driving me nuts. So I might have to get a new one before I, before I break my, break of someone's neck. Okay, that's, Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's boot the game and pray to the both the old gods and the new. I want to be the very best that no one ever was. 
right. Well, while we're waiting for that, tell me how if these emotes work okay. It seemed to have triggered the issue last uh, time. Oh, as much as a camel loves water? <laughs> That's so funny. As much as a camel loves water? I don't think I did anything for posture check. Let me check. No, I didn't. I did nothing for posture check. Let's try the flute. Of course. Of course you want to try the flute. All right. Flute, flute, flute. Let's try Pokemon, too. don't like that one <laughs> i don't like that one <laughs> mango said no <laughs> um here is the new viking fact <laughs> So now when you redeem a Viking fact, you'll see that. Hopefully that one is a little more tolerable. Have to agree with the blood pouring out of my ear. <laughs> Hello there, spicy bones. Welcome. This is, I'm literally testing the stream right now because I was having issues. You should have a gif of, I, I should totally get it. Get, the next time he goes live, I'll, uh, I'll get a gif of him. Uh, that would be perfect for Viking fact. For now, we'll have to accept this odd-looking fellow. Um, all right, that one works. And then... Mortuary story. Okay. That all looks good. Maybe I'll change that to just the actual Pokemon noise. Um, or the actual Pokemon, like, theme song. <laughs> because it's fun and I like it. <laughs> I am on the game now. Please, yes, change the flute, because no. <laughs> I will change the flute. I will change the flute to, um, um, what's it called? The actual theme song. I'll, I'll put that on my agenda of things to accomplish tomorrow. Because I do want to be able to just, like, belt out that song whenever I want to. Like, I want to be the very best. I Because I do. Okay, let's see how the game looks. To not use weapons or cause trouble in roads. Okay. So, I've been meaning to go to... Replace my... Or, switch up my horse. Actually, wow, my stamina and all of my cores are down. So, we're just going to update those really quick. Ooh, we have some plain big game. Like that. that should fully restore my course. Perfect! Okay. Um, where is the closest... Um, um, okay, here's the closest stable. Actually, no. Let's do a further away stable because I want to like ensure that this... Lasts a while. So we'll go there. We have overcome technical difficulty. <laughs> I actually wasn't going to have this be a stream tonight, but... I mean, I guess since y'all are here... <laughs> um, 
We'll just, we'll just, we'll just stream. Hold on one second then in that regard. Let me go get my, my beverage. BRB. I saw that hydrate come in. I really need to figure out a way to turn that off. That's going to get annoying. Uh, you really haven't missed anything, Erica. Mm. I was going to mention, um, I updated all of the, um, emotes, uh, literally all of them, except for like a handful. Uh, so they do, yeah, I think we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll do a baby stream tonight and then I'll, I'll do a full stream tomorrow. Uh, just cause people are here now and I feel bad. So here are some updated emotes or cheer points that you can redeem now. That's such a bullshit line. So now we have a new little thing that you guys can call out the BS as it happens. We also have... <laughs> updated viking fact which uh we will update to a gif of oxforth once we get it um let's see what else we have updated hydrate oh as much as a camel loves water and we have updated Titanic. <laughs> um, we also have, finally, for now, we will update more of these. Updated Mortuary Story. So lots of things now are fixed, um, and I think just overall add some cohesion to the experience. I really need to get a new ring like that. It's driving me insane. Okay, so let's see how this goes and pray to the good Lord. Is this... I thought that that might be why, Erica, but it looks like there was an issue with my stream deck, like my little like device that I use to switch scenes and stuff like that. Um, oh shit! I almost ran into that fool. Um, so I did a system restore and then I unplugged and uh, power cycled everything. Looking for cargo here. May well be. What cargo y'all trying to move on out of here? Oh. Nope. Damn it all. Guess they got what was coming to them. Jesus. They sure did. Uh oh. What's your confession for the chat, Erica?
What awful things haveth you done? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but I did it. Yeah. Okay then. I am wee drunk. Oh, I didn't realize that was a confession. <laughs> that was a bad thing. We we ship the drunk folk here. We ship the drunk folk in the basic things. What are define Morning, basic, fella. Erica? Morning, sir. Yeah. Define the basic. Hot girl summer. Oh, that's super basic, dude. I had to have it twice. What was in it? Is it like a whiskey, vodka? What was the base? Excuse me, gents. Grapefruit, yep. grapefruit, vodka, and rosé. Ooh, that is super basic. But if I if I still drank vodka, maybe I'd try it. But I do I, I do not do the vodkas. It reminds me of the folly of my youth. Idiot. I don't know if I've ever been to this stable. Bro, I ain't tripping. I don't know why you're tripping. Not my typical go to, but it was good. Yeah, it sounds like it was yummy. In the end, we just got to do things that are yummy or drink things that are yummy. I mean, I guess also do things that are yummy. Shit right. up at this stable, to be honest. <laughs> well. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stable Oob for now. Do we want Lavar Burton, or do we want Ragnar, or do we want this Tennessee Walker? I kind of want to go with Lavar Burton for now. It's been a while since we've hung out with our boy Lavar. Don't shoot anyone. I I wasn't planning on it. If I'm being honest. folks say this town is on the skids. But I don't see it. Okay. We're gonna hang out with Lavar for a bit. Take care of that nag. Come back and see. Don't call him a nag, he's a nice boy. Don't shoot horses. <laughs> Noted. No horse shooting shall transpire. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Boy. Let's keep on and head on back down to our old Dutch. Idiot. Wanted to have a bigger horse for this stage in our. Mango, how the heck are you? <laughs> Erica is feeling some type of way, that's for sure. Arthur, don't be such a turd. Yeah. Ah, my ear itches. Oh. Ah.
above ground. That's amen to that. Some money. Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. Stumpy 2.0. Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them. Them greys moved here. A bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. All right, bro. Did y'all just like create your own traffic jam? <laughs> I'm literally not in your way. Like, you literally need to calm down. Alright. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man hmm. owes another anything. The unbiased no, having already still, dealing a certain way in this family feud. I do not. I do not. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Huh? Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Dutch would roofie someone in order to steal their wallet. He absolutely would. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Ugh. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. 
This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. <laughs> sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. <laughs> now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> I love my horse so chilling in the back. When's the last time you paid taxes? <laughs> Can we just acknowledge LeVar Burton, like, dutifully keeping up the rear? What a loyal ass horse. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. <laughs> he always burns, Bill. Keep your eyes open. Oof. Homeboy got it rough. Oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Does Bill contribute Lemoyne anything valuable? I wouldn't the say so. Of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Why'd you... Bro. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Oh, you missed okay. it, Mango. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. Huh. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here 
here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, we're sneaking. Sneaky, sneaky. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Hmm. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Ah, welcome back, Shadow. You made it back after all of our technical difficulties. We'll take the ride. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Just vibing. Remember what he said. We need them alive. I thought you were going the other way. Oh, right. I'm going right. Catch the rider. Grab the other fella. Think you take this one, Bill. With pleasure. Good job, Bill. Gather them up. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So, <laughs> tell me about these. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... The years ago, they was the finest family around. Thousand acres or more, three hundred slaves, and well, decadence crept into their way of living. Decadence and debauchery, kind of like in England, which is why they cut the king's head off. And at the same time, the Gray family came from Scotland recently, uh, maybe a hundred and twenty years ago, and they challenged the Braithwaites. And over time, a feud developed, uh, with the Greys being uh, right and proper in pretty much everything, and the Braithwaites being uncivilized and, and 
and English in their manners, if you know what I mean. And so it has gone on like this for years. Please tell me you're almost done, Arthur. <laughs> Just a second. It's kind of funny that Dutch can't stand talkers, and yet he himself is like the epitome of a talker. Time for a Viking fact! Alright, let me finish this up and then I will give us all a fact. My timing was not great. No, it wasn't. All right. Let us find ourselves a fact. Let's learn something new about them Vikings. Yeah? Let's see. Let's see. The Viking longship. That might be interesting. The Viking Longship. Evolution of the Viking Longship. There are few more potent symbols of an era than the Viking Longship. To the Vikings themselves, it was the ultimate expression of their dynamic culture, its importance reflected in the profusion of ship representations found on their memorial stones, coinage, and even in their graffiti. Love of their ships also continued into the afterlife, as evidenced in the magnificent Gokstad and Osberg ship burials and in their custom of using a man's ship as his funeral pyre. Their pride in these elegant vessels is equally apparent in the great Icelandic sagas where we find names bestowed upon them such as Orsteed, Surf Dragon, Fjord Elk, Ocean Striding Bison, and Great Serpent. The demands of warfare, trade, and exploration led to distinct variations in the basic design of these ships, each kind distinguished by its own technical name. Small boats were categorized by the number of oars they employed. For example, a six-oared boat was known as a six-airing six gear, 
and general purpose ships of 12 to 32 oars, such as the Gokstad ship, were known as Carvey. Long ships, like the example found at Skuldelev, with a minimum of 20 rowing positions, were named Snekja, which translates as thin and projecting, and larger warships, like the Skuldelev II and Roxelskeed VI long ships, were known as Ske, meaning that which cuts through the water. Giant warships from the latter part of the Viking Age are well documented in the sagas and are called drekar or dragons, no doubt in recognition of their fearsomely carved prows. The generic term for all of these warships is langskip or longship. Cargo carrying vessels were known as nars or kalpskips, meaning trade ships. There you go. We've learned a little bit about some long ships. Can you make a points for Dean for you trying to say the word for six sword? Fa no. First of all, fuck you. From Viking culture, Game of Thrones. Yeah, for real. For real. That's so interesting. Did not know that little tidbit. Always fun to learn. Oops. Hold on. Move that out. There we go. I'll bet you will. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin. Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards. That even we I was attacked by the spider. It, we learned about long ships, Bingo. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Okay. Can I stash this somewhere near Camp Ox? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. What did Appa do? Two families. Screaming I mean, and sprinting. Really also, how big was it? And what'd you end up from doing? All sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? <laughs> You'll okay. probably win. You're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. You cheated, Dutch. Damn cheating. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Really? You're gonna say that after I just pulled ahead of you, you bastard? Pretty sure my horse has more stamina than yours. Because he's a big boy.
<laughs> Kicking your ass, Dutch. Leaving you in the dust, boy! The chat's been going. slowed you down quite so much <laughs> well time is a bastard when you get to be my age well you'll know that better than anything be well i had fun with you today you're i was gonna say you're like a son to me but you're more than that He meant it too. He meant that. Got the vacuum downstairs. Suck it up. She continued to play with her toys and bark at me. I feel accomplished. Good. Glad you feel accomplished. You should. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. All right, Air Strauss, what do you want? I'm the strongest I've ever been, Dutch is now. When you get to be my age, I know. He's a walking contradiction. Um, Mr. Strauss. Excuse me, Mr. Strauss. Ah, Herr Morgan. Do I need to go around? Like, why is this? Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, but it then turns it's not, out he has a ready excuse. Not a cheap business. Suck a not smelly old dick, fucking to me. Oh, I agree. Loan sharks Sharking are the worst. Already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. What other missions do we got? Molly needs to speak to you. Alright, let's see what Molly has to say. This will be my last mission. This is a smaller stream because of the technical difficulties, but I will make up for it um, by streaming tomorrow. It's my promise to y'all. Twelve-hour stream. I'll fuck off with a twelve-hour stream. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh, 
Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you... Like yeah, you know, it does look like the issue's been resolved. It, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other... Fool Molly O'Shea, there. yeah, she's kind of like a... Yeah. Come on over here. Um, Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. Big and what up and coming. are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. Well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> you do it's easy, and I'll only take Oh, a yeah, it kind of does look like the conjuring lady. Now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid. This is why we keep you here, you Erica. Shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. <laughs> yeah. Charles, I was kidding. You Have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. <laughs> you know, I've been down here all in five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've all this shit about faith. Like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the... Crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Whoa! Stop the wagon! Stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. It's like, trust me, all the gods just have I, faith in me one I time. I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around. And not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Are you I would have just here? blindly have faith in any of y'all. Seriously. He has no reason to. Boys, ride, fellas, come on! Keep on up. Well, nice go, 
Oops, it was them, dude, for real. You know what Dutch's answer would be if he were asked why he keeps <laughs> Uncle around. You dude, seriously, me too. Keep watch from now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I don't know. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Hey, hey, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Oh, you better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. Is about to be an issue. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. What was that? <laughs> what did you want me to do, you bastard? Uncle, it's almost like it's almost like this is literally all your
They're coming in from everywhere, guys. <laughs> Pretty fast for an old fart with lumbago. Seriously. Terminal condition. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. Not terminal enough. <laughs> Seriously. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. <sighs> Stay quiet and move. Shit, was that take even worth it? Frick. I don't think they know 
it's me. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> that was just all bad. Everything about that just went poorly. was close. I think for tonight's stream, but maybe tomorrow. Instrumental song went in the Lemoyne area that sounds exactly like the intro to Lil Nas is out town road. Really? I'll be damned. Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably it for me tonight. Uh, that went. I'm just glad everything's fixed. End of the day, that's the important thing. I do not like when things don't work. Yeah, I will. That's that's the the new objective. Listen and see what we find. Um, thanks, guy. Thanks, guys, for being here for the shortened stream. Uh, I really got to figure out how to turn that off. That is going to get annoying. Um, just glad that this got worked out. I was very worried that this wasn't going to be able to be fixed. Um, it was giving me all of the stress. Um, but I will be back tomorrow for a normal stream. So you got me for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, a special treat. Um, is that how you spell tomorrow in Spanish? Yes, but there is a, um, a squiggle on the, on that first N, mañana. But yes, I'll be in mañana. I'm gonna, uh, spruce up the, more of these, uh, channel points, make them more fun. Uh, and then fix the one that Mango hates. Other than that, uh, thanks guys for coming and hanging. Always appreciate it, even if it's just for a little bit. Um, Y'all have a good night, Erica. Sober up. Um, bonus stream. Yes, that's what this will be. Nice old bonus stream. Um, and we can actually like get back into um, being serious about this story. Y'all sleep well. Be good. Um, have fun. Be safe. Wear a mask and stay sexy. Good night, guys. <laughs>